Kansas has, uh, has often taken uh, the tougher road, has taken the road less traveled, has uh, not been afraid uh, to face an uphill climb, and that's why Kansas has achieved so much. But you can't look objectively at what's going on in Topeka today and say that the politicians in Topeka are living up to the role model set by the people of Kansas and living up to the same standards that Kansans hold themselves to. Uh, that principled idealism of early Kansas, standing up against the scourge of slavery, um, that's been re replaced in Topeka by petty partisan bickering. Uh, the, ac the actions of people in Topeka have left us with a, have left me with a bit of doubt in myself as to can, can these guys, can these guys and gals solve these problems? And they're not that difficult of problems to solve. Are they even trying to solve the problems? Kansas has so much more going for it than the bickering in Topeka would suggest. You know this, from agriculture to fossil fuels, right? from highly ranked schools to nationally recognized infrastructure, from the cement plants that dot southeast Kansas to the, uh, to the feedlots and the meatpacking plants in southwest Kansas. And by the way, our feedlots, uh, uh, produce uh, half of the, not sorry, half, a quarter of the feeder cattle uh, in our nation. Um, so we have so much to offer. Our people deserve so much better than what's happening in Topeka right now. But instead of working to, to capitalize on these tremendous assets, I think that our leaders, our, our, our legislature in particular in Topeka has squandered some of those assets. I think that they are taking steps that are counterproductive. Uh, and it seems like they're just playing games to set each other up for the next election. So instead of collaborating to find ways to balance the budget, they instead devise tax policies that end up penalizing all Kansans. Uh, in short, Topeka faces a crisis of leadership, and that brings me to why I'm here today. Today, I'm announcing my candidacy for governor.